My Kona sounds like it should be on a game show. I want to be clear that I'm not a professional mechanic, so if you do anything from my videos, it's at your own risk. Hey folks, my cone has started making a terrible noise, which is commonly referred to as the wheel of fortune or the card in the bike spoke noise. Uh, this is because it sounds like a wheel that's spinning and hitting something, so sort of like a kind of sound. So apparently this happens due to a misalignment between the motor and the reduction gear, and some people have been lucky enough to have both replaced under warranty. For the record, I have about 30,000 kilometers on the car, and I drive it economically. So I take it to the dealership, I explain the issue, what happened, everything. They check it out, call me back, say, it's rust on the brake rotors. It's, it's not rust on the brake rotors. There's a tiny little bit of surface rust. I clean them off, I'm pretty meticulous about it. And they say $650 to replace the front pads and rotors, which... You know, there's 10 millimeters left on the pads and the rotors are not even worn out. I mean, there's a little bit of surface rust, that's it. So I decline, say, I'm going to take it home. I'm going to take a look at it. So at home, I completely disassemble the rotors, take off the clips, give everything like a good scrub, take all the, any kind of rust off. I uh, dip the rotors in the evapo-rust solution, which is used in car restoration and stuff to get rid of rust. And uh, everything is like, rust free super clean uh take it back to the dealership and i say hey check it out i made this video i'm explaining the issue and here's the video i show them so this first stop coming up here i'm in regenerative braking mode and i'm going to let off the pedal and it's going to make the sound letting off the pedal now so we can see that without using the brakes that was just regenerative braking three we heard the sound now i'm going to shift to neutral and use only the brakes and it won't make the sound braking now they seem to be responsive and accept that it's an issue that happens while regenerative braking they say they need to work their way through a list of potential fixes though starting with replacing a mounting bracket for the reduction gear so i'm like a mounting bracket really you think that this sound is made by a mounting bracket but you know the guy kind of seems to understand that yeah it's probably not but like this is what you know hyundai of canada says the first step is to do so you know i'm told there's a back order it's now been over three weeks so i'm really hoping it's going to come in soon but I'm told it's safe to drive in the meantime, uh, you know, just go on and deal with the sound kind of thing, right? Um, so other people have said that another step that they go through is that they need to have their gear that's in the reduction gear sort of rotated 180 degrees. And that will apparently in some cases stop it from making the sound, but most people have said the sound all either continues or comes back. So since I took it in, the sound has gotten worse. While it was only happening while regenerative braking at first, it now happens all the time, but it's intermittent. So sometimes it happens while accelerating, sometimes not, and it's at various levels of sound when accelerating, also when decelerating always, but sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's quiet. It's, it's very hit or miss, and I'm not sure if this is true, but it seems to be more present uh, during acceleration when the battery is fully charged and it sort of eases off once I'm below about half charge so I'm not sure if there's any correlation there it's just coincidental but uh, that's something that I have noticed so now at this point it's been a few weeks since I was told that the mounting brackets on back order and that's just a mounting bracket. So I'm really concerned that it could take many months for me to actually get them to either, you know, replace the reduction gear or even replace the reduction gear and the motor as has happened with multiple people. Um, but that being said, I'm really glad that these components on the car are covered by an eight-year warranty. And I really hope that Hyundai and Kia have addressed the issues in their newest models.